Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim here, timscomputerfix.net. I uh, just got in my shop a all-in-one Dell Inspiron 24. This is model 5459 Inspiron. Just a basic, uh, relative, you know, just a little over a year old all-in-one computer. So what's going on with this is the, the customer The customer says that uh, basically there's no power. So uh, we're just gonna test that theory there and see, uh, let's try to get this troubleshot here. Let's, let's do some troubleshooting here and see what we come up with on this one, huh? So we got our power, our power cord here. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in just to see if it is true that he has no power is what he's saying. He said he brought it to the Geek Squad uh, they said that there's no power, and I hear something. Ah, we got fans. Feel air flowing through here. Let me have a look in the front. Look at there. Aha. Geek Squad said that there's no power, and they tried another adapter, and it didn't work. I'm getting fans, as you can see. Light flashing there, let's see. That pops open. So interesting. So, so what we have here, it appears that we are getting power. Let's see if we can see a faint image on the screen here. Anything? Let's have a quick look here. I think I see anything. So, usually when I get computers in that's power on and that they have no, uh, they have no image, so it is getting power, but there's no display, I immediately think RAM memory. So that is what I'm going to go for. We're going to crack open this, uh, this Dell all-in-one and Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to lay this down and flip up this bottom part here. Whoa, that just came right off there. Wow. That just came right off. Okay, that's certainly not good. Did you see that? <laughs> that just snapped right off. This has been taken apart before. This was supposed to come off first. So there's some screws missing from this. That's exactly what happened. Wow. Well, how this was supposed to go is this plate here. Okay, I don't know if you can see this plate, can you? There's a plate down here. It slides off and comes right off like so. And up in here, there's supposed to be four screws holding this down into place, but it looks like the four screws are there. How about this, guys? Wow. You know, they put the screws on first, so somebody's been in this, been in this, obviously. They put the screws in first and then they put the bracket on there, so I wouldn't be surprised if something else is going haywire here. Let's see. So we'll go ahead and take off these four screws that are... improperly installed. You know, people just don't tell you the truth in this line of work. This has been cracked open and looked at. Um, so it just looks like it. Oops. 
think it just unsnaps. Very gently with a tougher screwdriver here. Just trying not to scar it up any. Easy does it. Nice and easy. There we go. Exposes, of course, as usual, the motherboard, hard drive. The memory is what I want to target here. So let's target that memory. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull a stick of RAM. I'm just going to start just by doing that. We'll plug it in. Power jack's here. Fan spinning. We have no video. Fan spinning, no video. So we'll shut it down. I will pop out this stick of RAM. Let's pop in this stick of RAM. Plug it in. Now we're not even getting, now we're not even getting power, so, yeah, this isn't looking good. Let's pull that, let's pop out that RAM, pop in this one, let's put it in the second slot, plug it in, see if we get any power. Yeah, we get some power now. Fan spinning. No post. Yeah, there's something going on. So as a last resort, sort of one of the last resorts here, let me get this out of the way. Going to Pretty much um, I'm going to start pulling some cables here this is the touch this is the touch here so I'll pull that pull the touch that's the CPU fan we'll leave that alone here's this drive here we'll pull that here is uh, I'm not sure this is the uh, Converter. I'm not sure what the converter even does. This is uh, not sure what this does. Or that looks like it goes to the camera. We'll unplug that. And let's go ahead and see if we can clear the jumper, clear the uh, clear the CMOS. Okay, we'll pull that out. Let's try moving this jumper. We're going to try moving this jumper to here. Wait a little while, hit the power button. And then I guess we could try putting it back. Okay, let's just see if that does anything. Give it some power. We're getting absolutely nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, folks, nothing. Nothing. I think it's got a bad board. 
Unfortunately, it's like a bad board. There's no lights or anything, you know? There goes the fan spinning high. Yeah. Seen this too many times to know, folks. Bad board. What kind of memory do we have here? PC3. Too many times to know. Not good. We're going to call this a bad board. At least we know how to get into it. We know how to get to the hard drive and the memory. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope this helps somebody out. Please rate and subscribe to my feed. That would be totally awesome. This board here is a bad motherboard. Maybe we can price out this board, man. Let's find out how much this board would cost. and Maybe we can give them a price on that. How about that? Okay, Tim's Computer Fix is where you can find me. And I just might be back with a video on how to replace the motherboard on this guy. Anyways, see you soon.